I'm Joshua McKinney with your Wake Tech News Update. More than 1,600 graduates turned their tassels, posed for pictures, and celebrated with friends during Wake Tech spring commencement exercises at the Scott Northern Wake campus. Three ceremonies were held in the gymnasium. Families and friends watched with pride as graduates ranging in age from 16 to 74 walked across the stage to receive degrees and diplomas. More than 100 graduates opened new doors to opportunities when they earned high school equivalency credentials. Students in adult high school, adult high school equivalency preparation, and high school equivalency programs were honored in a graduation ceremony at Wake Tech Scott Northern Wake Campus. 19 Wake Tech graduates are poised to do extraordinary things at North Carolina State University as Goodnight Transfer Scholars. The prestigious Goodnight Scholarship is valued at $23,000 per year for up to three years. This is the largest class of Wake Tech graduates to join the Scholars Program. Wake Tech President Dr. Scott Rawls is proud to announce 2,092 students made the honor roll for spring 2024. 855 full-time students earn a place on the president's list with a grade point average of 4.0, while 1,237 full-time students made the dean's list with a GPA of at least 3.5. Congratulations. There's an exciting new career opportunity in the fast-growing field of electric vehicles. Wake Tech is leading a statewide pilot program to train technicians in the installation and maintenance of EV charging stations. The college will launch the first Electric Vehicle Supply Equipment Field Technician Certificate course with the goal of replicating it across the state of North Carolina. The accelerated six-week non-degree course will be a hybrid of online and hands-on instruction. This is the first program of its kind in the country. Wake Tech and Campbell University have formed a partnership to provide Wake Tech graduates with a guaranteed pathway to a bachelor's degree. The Campbell Assured Admissions Program offers currently enrolled Wake Tech students admission to Campbell upon graduation. For complete details, visit news.waketech.edu. And finally, Wake Tech is pleased to announce that Dr. Demetria Harding has been selected to serve as the new provost of the Perry Health Sciences campus. In her new role, Harding will be responsible for leading seamless collaboration between the health sciences and nursing divisions, as well as managing all operations at the Perry Health Sciences campus. And that's your Wake Tech News Update.